What is going on guys? Daphne Elaine here and welcome back to another Let's Play. This is a number 14 I believe of my Let's Play series. And today we're going to do something a little bit different. I know the last couple episodes we've been working on our animal farm, which we're going to take a break from that. I'm um, pretty much done for the most part. Uh, just going to add a few more things to it. But what I want to work on is a mob grinder. We don't have a mob grinder on this world, and we need some materials. And that's going to be the best way to start gathering some items. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to, what we're going to do is I have a bunch of cobble here in my inventory. It's going to be, you know, cobble's cheap and I have lots of it, so I figured we could use it. Um, so first things first, we're going to go ahead and uh, start building the bottom here. And I don't want it to be completely square, but anyways. Um, I'm kind of debating whether to leave it, leave it square like that. Let me go ahead and just build this up really quick. And I'll be right back. Alright guys, welcome back, and as you can see I went ahead and finished the like the tower part of the grinder. I think it came out okay. It's about 25 blocks high. I know mobs only require like 23 or something, but I just wanted to be sure so I did 25. And then the center here is like 3 by 3 just, make, just to make sure that the spiders are able to clear and they don't get stuck up there. So anyways, um, the front of it's looking a little bit bland, so I thought we'll kind of make it a little bit pretty, or try to anyways, using some cobble. Oh, that was weird, it like glitched out there and got stuck. Um, let's see if I can get over here. Ooh, I'm getting a lot of lag right now. I don't know why. Um, should we do that? Mm, that looks, that looks okay, I think. What do you guys think? Maybe not? Let's try punching the middle out here. Um, yeah, that doesn't look very nice. So let's go ahead, we're gonna remove this and we'll just put the slab right in between. Oops, well, um, there we go, much better. So yeah, um, so we have, yeah, that's looking good. So now we need to go ahead and get up there and we need to pillar up because we're going to make the actual mob grinder part which I believe we may need some signs but I'm not too sure yet um I don't know yet so anyways let's go ahead, we're gonna get up there and we're gonna go ahead and get this grinder going okay so yeah oh nice view up here Anyways guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of widen this top area out and then I'll be right back to show you guys what I do to, you know, construct my mob grinders, which is not an original idea. Um, of course, you know, it's probably a known idea, but anyways guys, I'll be right back. All right, girls and boys. So I'm getting some cobble right now. I need a few more stacks. Um, and I did die in the process and I forgot to put my armor back on. Put my armor back on so I'm safe okay so I went ahead and I did the like the bottom platform of the actual grinder itself and now we all we have to do is fill it in with water in specific areas but oh and I went ahead and made an infinite water source up there so we don't have to keep going up and down as I only have one bucket and that would have been a pain in the butt can you imagine having to go up and down each time so it's gonna go up here. I'm gonna make sure I have my bucket, yeah. Okay, so let's get up here. All 
Okay, so we're up here, and as you guys can see, this platform is looking pretty cool. Um, the actual center, of course, is the 3x3, three three, and of course, each, right, I guess the little canals where actually the mobs are going to be dropping into this and falling down the chute. Now, this is about three wide, and it's eight blocks long, and that's just enough for the, um, where's my water source? It's right there. And that's just enough for the water to stop. Um, as you can see where it stops, right at the edge. And I'm going to go ahead and fill up each canal. And I'll do that really quick. Okay, so water is finally filled up, and this is exactly how we want it. So now all we have to do is we need to build up the walls on the side of the mob grinder and go ahead and top it off. Now, I know a lot of people do just leave it like this. Unfortunately, if you leave it like this, mobs only spawn at night. Um, I want this to be a 24-hour grinder so you can use it whenever. Not a 24-hour, a 20-minute, I guess, for <laughs> Minecraft time. But anyways, we'll go ahead and get rid of this water source because we don't need it anymore. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and build up some of these walls and I'll be right back. All right guys, so as you can see, all the walls are up and the roof is pretty much on. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this little piece right here. And of course it's about um, three blocks high, just enough, you know, for the mobs to spawn. Um, I wanna go ahead and test it out. As you can see though, I closed off this to keep me from falling falling into the actual chute itself. Hopefully I can knock all these torches off and no mobs spawn while I'm in here still. If so, oh well. Uh, let's see, get down here. Okay, and, oh, can I make it across? Okay. Okay, let's get down here. And I know mobs can't spawn right now because I'm really close, so let's get down here. Hopefully they'll start spawning. Mm-hmm. Such a long way down. Well guys, look at these mob drops. So we know that our mob grinder is working or mob spawner is working and I'm pretty happy with it. So guys, that is the end of this episode. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and please be sure to drop a like on this video if you did enjoy it. And I'll see you guys next time.